Hey everyone, Tech Dad here, and in today's video, we are going to discuss how you can get more organized using your iPad. The iPad is actually the perfect tool to keep track of all of your work tasks and the personal things that you need to get done. And so in this video, we're gonna talk about some apps that you can use to help you start to get organized. We're also gonna talk about some of the widgets that you can put on your home screen in order to have things front and center when you need to know them. And I'm gonna walk you through how to set up a focus. So the focus feature in iPadOS 26 is really powerful and you can start to use that to organize your home screen in ways that'll keep you, well, more focused. So with that said, let's get into it. Okay, so let's talk about some apps to help get you organized. So the first one that I'm going to suggest is the Notes app, which comes pre-installed on the iPad. And the Notes app is super powerful. And the main reason it's so powerful is because you can take handwritten notes. And I say handwritten, not typed, because there is extensive scientific research that shows when you take handwritten notes, your brain will do a much better job at retaining that information. So I'm a social studies teacher by trade and I always told my students to take their handwritten notes because I knew it would help them remember the information. So not only are you organizing information, but you are engaging in fine motor skills, you're engaging in multiple senses, you're listening, you're looking at something on a board maybe or a screen. And so if you're in a work meeting or if you're in the classroom, take handwritten notes in the notes app. It helps you organize your thoughts and it also helps you retain your thoughts and the information you need to remember. Now you can take type notes as well in in the notes app which is pretty cool and you can create actual checklists of items that you need to do and so there's a feature for that in the menu and this is okay but I think there's a better app to do this and we're going to talk about that now so the next app I want to talk about is the reminders app and this is hands down the best app on iPad to get organized so reminders is great because you can create all kinds of lists of tasks you need to do and you can do this for work for personal or whatever else you need to keep track of because you can create multiple lists. And what I really like is you can set a reminder to go off at a specific date and time. So you can click the little eye on that reminder and you can select the date and time that you want to be reminded. So if you need to do something on a specific day and time, it'll ping you. And I love if you're in the Apple ecosystem that you will get pinged on all your devices. So you'll get a notification on your iPad, but you also get one on your Apple Watch if you have that and your iPhone. So when I have something really important I need to do, I put it in reminders, I set a date and time, and then I get pinged when it's time to do that. It's super helpful. Something else that's really cool about reminders is that you can collaborate on lists. So if you need to collaborate with coworkers or you have other students and you're doing a group project or you just need to make a grocery list with the wife, that's actually what I have here, you can share a list out with the share button and collaborate on that list. So try collaborating. Another great app to have is a good calendar app. The problem is we have lots of calendars that we need to keep track of for work, school, and personal. Now, if you need help getting all your calendars and tasks into one app, Acuflow is a great option. Acuflow is today's sponsor and they have a powerful app for organizing all of your calendars in one place. With this app, you can connect calendars from multiple platforms, including Gmail, Outlook, Slack, and a whole lot more. And the app will organize all of your tasks from those accounts into one inbox. And this app is great for using a technique called time blocking. So you can block out time for all the important things you need to do around all your other events. You can block out time right on the calendar view for all the tasks you need to get done. And you can take this ability up a notch by accessing Acuflow on your desktop computer where you can actually drag and drop your tasks right into the calendar for faster planning and organizing. It's pretty cool. In addition, Acuflow has built-in AI so you can ask specific questions about your calendar and get a thorough response right away. It's super helpful. Acuflow has excellent customer service and you can even schedule a one-on-one -on -one onboarding meeting if you need help getting started. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check out this app. All right, so next, let's talk about widgets. So you can add widgets to your home screen by pressing and holding on the home screen and then just select edit in the top left corner. And there are all kinds of apps with all kinds of widgets. Now, the first widget I'm gonna suggest is reminders. This is a super powerful widget because it will put a specific list on your home screen so you can actually see the things you need to check off. It's really nice for keeping your to-dos front and center. You don't actually have to go into the app. They're just right in your face on the home screen. Some other 
other widgets that are really useful are the notes app. So I like to put a notes app widget on the home screen so I can pull up the notes that I've recently been in and that I'm drafting. It's just a quick and easy way to pull up the notes that you've been working on and it kind of reminds you of what you need to be doing if those notes are really important. They're just right there on the home screen. Now for productivity, I like to use the widgets for Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Those are also really powerful, especially if you need to pull up documents that you work on all the time. You can set up these widgets to pull up recent documents and they'll be right there. And again, it's great to have them on your home screen. So you're just pinged and reminded, oh yeah, I need to work on that document. And it makes it so your files are not hard to find. A lot of people struggle with file management on the iPad. Widgets are a great way to get around that. All right, now let's talk about making a focus. So iPad has this feature where you can set a focus and it changes your home screen. It removes all the clutter and just puts the apps and widgets that you want to see for that focus. And it will silence notifications and only give you the notifications from apps that you want. So focuses work by setting up a specific page. So if you want to see what pages you have for your home screen, you can just press and hold and select edit pages from that edit menu and you'll see all the pages of apps and widgets that you have. So the idea to set up a focus is you pick one of those pages and you put all the apps and widgets that you want for your focus. So if you're setting up a workflow, focus like me, I like to put my Microsoft apps on the focus and I like to put the Microsoft widgets on the focus as well. And so when it's time for me to focus on work, I can just go up to the control center, select my work focus and it clears everything away and I just have those apps available. To set this up, you can pull down in the control center and select the work focus and select settings. Once you go to settings, you can pick a lock screen that you want to set up and then you can select the page that you set up for that focus. So it's really easy to set up and what I really like about the focus feature is that you can whitelist specific apps that you want notifications from. So maybe you have a personal email app like your Gmail but you don't want to get notifications from that. But you do want to get notifications from Outlook because that's where you work from. You can absolutely do that and quiet all those other notifications that we get bombarded with throughout the day and just focus on what you need to. It's really cool. Try a focus. You can set them up for work, personal, or you can name specific custom focuses if you want. Give it a whirl. All right, so that's my rundown on how to start getting better organized with your iPad. The Notes app, Reminders app, there are some great apps that are already pre-installed on the iPad that are really good for organization. Widgets are awesome. A good home screen design is really helpful for getting organized, and you definitely got to try the Focus feature. Let me know if you have questions about anything we covered in this video. I'm happy to help you out. Leave a comment below. That's all I got for you. If you like this sort of content, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.